Hello, thanks for tuning in to my channel. This is Dr. Hampton, and I just want to share a page from my book today. I, I'm excited. Um, this book is entitled Wealth and Riches Shall Be in Your House by Dr. Hampton. And listen, I'm excited about what God is doing and about this season. This is a season of breakthrough. My wife and I, we're experiencing breakthroughs and we're releasing breakthroughs over um, those in covenant with us. And we're just excited about what God is doing. And I want to share a page from my book, Wealth and Riches Shall Be in Your House. Um, this book is available in hardback form. Well, you know, the little soft uh, paperback. That's what it is. Paperback form. I'm also having a uh, website built to make the ebooks available, digital products available. So I'm going to have a whole website full of products. But listen, I want to share just a page from this book today, just to encourage you not to give up, not to grow weary, to give you some insight because your best days are to come. And today the Lord spoke a word to me, and this is what he said. He said, you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. And that's what he said. I know what that scripture is. That's, that's Joshua 1 and 8. Now, what he was telling me was this. I think it's Joshua 1 and 8 or Joshua 1 and 9, somewhere in there. But what he was telling me was this. He was saying, you shall make your way prosperous. Get it? You, Cedric, you'll make your way prosperous. See, sometimes we're waiting on God to do what we need to do. And the Lord was letting me know, it's not me. I'm not holding you up. You're holding you up. And could God be speaking to you saying the same thing that it's not him that's holding you back? Is it you that's holding you back? I'm going to let you answer that question now. I know who it is. I know it ain't God. I know God ain't holding us back. But we hold ourselves back, just like the children of Israel. God wanted them to go into the promised land, but they kept holding themselves back. They limited the Holy One of Israel through their unbelief. And I believe that even today we do the same thing. We limit God through our unbelief. We got to believe. We got to believe what his word says. And we have to act on his word. We have to educate ourselves and do research and find out how to get his promises. And that's why this book is so powerful. Because, you know, being someone who grew up in church and been in church for many, many years, as a teacher of the word I teach, I do not preach. I'm a teacher. Is a difference. A teacher explains and gives examples and uh, gives definition of words. My assignment isn't to get you excited. My assignment is to get the information to you in an easy to understand way. That's what I do. That's what I am really good at teaching the word of God. Um, I'm going to read a page from my book. Let me read this page. Watch this. Okay. I'm going to read page 12. Listen to this right here. Steve Harvey often tells his story about how he asked God to make him rich. He says Christians are not rich because they never ask God to become rich. You remember the scripture that says you have not because you ask not? <laughs> That's a true scripture. If a person believes that being rich is bad, he would never ascend to the level of being rich, even if he or she has the power to become rich. See, God has given you the ability and me the ability to become rich because he says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18, forget not the Lord thy God who gives you power to get wealth. Not only do we have the power to get rich, we have the power to get wealth. Wealth is generational riches. <laughs> All right. So we got the ability. 
God is a God-given ability. But watch what keeps you from tapping into that God-given ability. Listen to this. They will stop creating money at their comfort level in order to not offend God. Glory to God. Woo! Let me stop there. I'm giving away too much sauce. Too, too much sauce, too much sauce. People stop creating at the level of their comfort zone. That's the problem. Soon as you get comfortable, you say, well, I can breathe now. You stop creating. And so you stay at that level of your comfort zone. It's like setting a thermostat in a house. It won't go past the level you set it to. See, you set the level. You set the level in your finances every month. You set it. Who, who set it besides you? Who sets your pay every month except for you? Do you see what I'm saying? We set it. And we set it at the comfort level. And that's the problem. See, God doesn't want you and me to simply be comfortable. He wants us to maximize our potential to be the best that we possibly can be. See, the children of Israel, they wanted to stop where they were comfortable at. They had learned how to live as slaves. So when they got to the desert, hey, it wasn't no big deal. But God wanted to take them into the promised land, but they never went into the promised land because they got comfortable in the desert. They got comfortable. They chose to disobey God in the wilderness rather than fight for the promised land. And it was a fixed fight. God had already promised them they were going to win. But they chose See, see, we choose in life the life we're going to live. And what we choose, if we're honest, is often influenced by who we are around. See, if you hang around people who say it ain't all about money, you know how people talk. It ain't all about money. It ain't all. You can't take it to the great. You know how people talk then that's going to be your mentality. You'll never have enough money. You'll never have more than enough money because your attitude is you can't take it to the grave. But see, God is a God of more than enough. And he gives you the ability to have more than enough, but you got to be intentional. You have to own purpose. Create more than enough. Look, let me stop right there. I'm going a little, little too long, getting long-winded here. But listen, I want you to get my book. I want you to get my book. Right? All you got to do is leave a comment. I can give you the, the instructions on how to get the book. And um, it'll change your life. All right? Listen. Your best days are yet to come. Keep your head up. But be intentional. Whatever you want, you have to, on purpose, make it happen. It's not going to happen by accident. You have to go after it. And many times, as believers, we sit, we wait, we sit, we wait, we pray, we wait, we, but we don't put forth no human effort to get the things that we want. Put forth the human effort by getting this book. And, and when you read this book, It'll change your mind. God put it in my heart to write this book. See, God puts his word, his ideas in the heart of men of God. And we write books like this one. But see, you have to be hungry enough and intentional enough to get the book. Well, 
Listen, I'm out. Peace.